Okay. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, right, 25 minutes from now, 5.30 until 7 p.m., across 116th Street and down the stairs at Arts and Crafts Artisan Beer Bar. Uh, please come and have at least a little free beer on us. I think what... what what, what did we assume? That, that, that half the people here will drink one free beer and after that <laughs> other like people that. will buy their own? Plus I, I there's some a, food. I, I, food. Yeah, food, right. I mean, you know, free food, that's no big deal. Free beer, yeah, that, that's good. Um, I, I do have a, a, an ideological commitment to that. Um, uh, I, I, this is a free software conference, uh, but you understand that my position about this has always been that, that there should be uh, free admission uh, free beer, free lunch, um, and free CLE. Uh, if you are uh, signed up for free CLE, you must sign out. Okay. You did the 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 structure, of course, is that you can have free CLE if you can prove you were here. Uh, that's not my requirement, um, but it's a fair one. So so if you came here to get free CLE credit, among other things, uh, please remember to sign out before you go for the free beer. Um, that sense of we can do this, we can make a free conference, we can make free food, we can make free beer, requires, of course, that lots of people help us. And although I really want to talk about dark and horrible substance, I don't want to do that until I've said thank you uh, to the people who make this possible. Um, you know, the free food part, um, I owe to Keith Bergelt and to the Open Invention Network who bought your lunch. Uh, and I'm grateful to them for doing that. Um, and, and of course, uh, I, I, I provide back uh, with respect to OIN not a lunch's worth of thank you, but more than that. Uh, we are coming to the end of a $35 billion patent war in our industry, uh, which has consumed the mobile device market and half consumed at least one piece of the cloud uh, for most of the last eight years. Um, it was very expensive. It was very destructive. I admit that some of my friends in this room made a ton of money selling munitions into the war. It was very clever of you. Um, patents were transacted for at prices that nobody on earth thought they could ever be sold for. Um, but basically, there was a lot of deadweight loss. Uh, and that deadweight loss occurred despite the enormous efforts of companies in the industry in the creation of the world's most effective defensive patent pool, the Open Invention Network. Uh, with Keith Bergelt, its uh, CEO, I have worked all over the world in the course of these last eight years trying to get the war to end and trying to get the terms of peace to be as good for free software as possible. Uh, and OIN has done way more than bought us lunch. It has saved our bacon everywhere all the time to an extent that the secretiveness of the patent world will prevent us from ever telling everybody about. But it was really important, and it isn't just that it's nice that Keith bought lunch. It's that if it hadn't been for OIN and it hadn't been for what we achieved by defensive patent pooling, we might not have been here because our lunch would have been eaten by certain people I need not name. Uh, yeah, but I have to thank people. You can't interrupt thank you. That's, that's just plain rude, you know. So, so, so here's, the, yeah, yeah, I'll give you a chance, I promise, uh, over beer. But, but, but that's a thank you. Well, I just told you, it's a defensive patent pool. It's a defensive patent pool by which we all scheme to keep people from creating more patent wars. It licenses free to everybody on earth in return for a reciprocal commitment not to enforce claims against software contained in its Linux system definition and a, an, a, an eternally expanding collection of free software packages now including thousands of Android packages and cloud platform packages and all the traditional elements of GNU Linux and so on and so forth. Uh, it offers those licenses widely around the world, and we now have almost uh, 1,600 licensees uh, who are agreed reciprocally to non-aggression among themselves. Uh, it was, as IBM originally stimulated its formation, a very unusual patent pool. 
because most patent pools in the world are made of promises, whereas OIN was made of money. Uh, real cash, real, put, real cash down on the, uh, on the table, put there by IBM and the companies it induced to join. Cash which turned out to be tiny compared, as I say, to the enormous scale of the patent war, but which has allowed OIN and the, and the organizations like my own with which it is allied to have fought valiantly and usefully to reduce the harm of the war and to shorten its duration. And now, I would say, to significantly and creatively affect the terms of peace. But I'm just thanking Keith for lunch, so now I need to go on. Um, it, what, what, what I like about SFLC, the reason I keep doing it, though it's a costly hobby, I have to say, for me, um, the, the, the reason that I like it is that I am a teacher by trade and I meet some very wonderful people uh, to teach and learn from and work with uh, in the course of doing it. I, I am uh, a solo practitioner by nature, I suppose. Uh, but like most solo practitioners by nature, the last thing on earth I ought to do is practice law alone. Uh, and uh, therefore, the most important question is, how do I find a law partner who really knows how to practice law with me. Mishy and I met 12 years ago now, just about uh, three months after I started SFLC. Uh, and we have worked together on this and other continents ever since. Uh, and I have, well, what a lawyer ought to dream of. Uh, not merely a junior partner anymore, uh, but a senior partner. Uh, somebody that I learn from and that I not just trust but can be trusted by. You see that she has some limits to that, but uh, they're intelligently set and I don't find them too constraining. It's an honor to practice with her and I would not do it anymore if I could not practice with the partner that I have. Uh, we are always surrounded uh, by good young people. Um, that's because Columbia Law School admits some of them. Um, and I don't flunk some of the good ones it admits. And we all work together happily and well. And sometimes somebody comes from elsewhere um, uh, who uh, I, I wish that I could claim to have taught. Uh, Danny Burns is currently in that condition. Um, uh, and. Um, like many of the young lawyers I have worked with over the years, I'm sure one day I will be mourning his loss to one of you who picked him off, um, or something like that. Um, but I must say uh, that it's a pleasure and a privilege to have him around, along with a cloud of students and former students whom I see around me in the room today. Um, Two years ago, Daniel Ganuchev came to work for me, and um, it was summertime, and I said, you know, in October, we're going to have a conference, and you're going to do live streaming and media control, and you're going to use all free bits, and we're going to use all the ragtag stuff around the office, and it's just going to work. And he didn't believe me, and uh, there was a constant state of fear and anxiety, but we just... Uh, we just finished uh, uh, another conference, and he did it perfectly, and we slipped nothing. Am I right? We slip yeah, we slipped nothing. Absolutely perfect. I, I, it's hard. Streaming media, I mean, Columbia University has a crappy system that it forces people into, and it works horribly, and sometimes it fails. And we did all of this out of free bits in our boxes and one Linode under Newark Airport. And uh, the only reason that we did that is because Daniel knows how. Um, he's learned a ton of stuff. Every time we make a mistake, people gently and kindly correct him or something like that in the internet, and he learns even better, and now we're perfect. And that gives me the pleasure that I can say, let's have a conference. Let's put on a show. Let's do a dialogue. Let's have a panel, and I know it's going to work, and if it weren't for him, I wouldn't know that. Uh, Tanisha is sneaking out, I guess. Um, yeah, well, you're going to have to, right? I mean, 
we have businesses. We, 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 we try not to lose all the money. We try and, and actually get the rent paid and the bills taken care of and the American Express cards paid off, which is really important because they're all attached to my credit and I, I would hate it if it's all broke. Uh, and without Tanisha, uh, I would have broken, failed, bankrupted, screwed up, I don't know what, but, but it would have been really quite horrible. And so here she still is postponing, really postponing her 10th wedding anniversary dinner in order to make sure that everything works perfectly and smoothly. I mean, I, I have to stop now for that. There's no, there's no kind of gratitude that can describe what it is to work with somebody who covers for your mistakes as completely and perfectly and in advance as she covers for mine. Um, this, this, this team, this way of doing things, um, uh, is something that Michael Weholt has learned about. You know, he fell into the middle of it. Um, I think he thought all he wanted was a quiet retirement job um, after the last lawyer he worked for, you know, gave up. And, and now he's sort of hanging around waiting for me to give up, I think, which I'm not going to do. So he's learned to fit into the team and everything that wasn't done by one of them, including moving the microphones around and setting the stage and making sure everything happened correctly, was done by the man who knows where I am when I don't know myself, which is what I think the fundamental job description is. That's everybody. Now I've thanked them.